So welcome everyone to Friends Revisited, uh, the UWAC in a very special way. I, your host and quiz master, Father Savio, today. Welcome each and every one of you together with my technical team of Rohan and Andrea. A uh, warm welcome to all our six uh, groups, our 12 participants, to Friends Revisited. We do hope you'll have a wonderful time on our quiz show uh, this afternoon. Uh, there will be six rounds of this quiz show, okay, six rounds. Uh, and as we go through each round, I will start by announcing what the round is and what is expected of you, okay, in that particular round. Okay, so the order, and again, I'm repeating the order in which the question, so you can mute your mic. But the moment it's your turn, okay, that's when you can unmute your mic. Otherwise, I won't get your answer. Please do not answer out of turn. If you answer out of turn, I'm sorry, I will deduct marks, okay? So the order in which we're going, Janice is team first, then James, then Anne, Aloma, Rachel, and Hallie, okay? Welcome, and this is our first round. It's called the sitcom quiz round. And our first question is directed to Janice. The series Friends is set in which city? New York. Two points. Two points to Janice and team. New York is the correct answer. Okay, this question to James. What pet did Ross own? A monkey. Monkey. You know the name of the monkey? Marcel. Okay, two points to you. Well done. Okay. Third question, going to Anne and team. What is Monica best skilled at? Cooking, chef. Absolutely right. Two points to your team. Well done. Okay. Aloma, your question. Monica briefly dates billionaire Pete Becker. Which country does he take her for their first date? You know, Paris. Italy, Italy, Italy. Give me the correct answer. Italy, Italy. Okay, we'll give you two points for Italy. Okay, two points for Italy there. Okay, question coming to Gracial and team. Rachel was popular in high school. Her prom date, Chip, ditched her for which school girl? Rachel was popular in high school. Her prom date, Chip, ditched her for which girl at school? And Matthews? No, that's uh, not the right answer. That's not the right answer. The correct answer is Amy Welch. Amy, Amy. Welch is the correct answer. Okay. Hallie, your question. What's the name of the 1950s themed diner where Monica worked as a waitress? Ali. Uh, I don't remember this. <laughs> okay, bad luck. Okay, bad luck. The correct answer is Moon Dance Diner. Oh. Uh, no, no, Moon Dance Diner. <laughs> uh, okay, bad luck. Okay, bad luck. Okay, we move into the second round of the same section. Okay, Janice, your question coming up. What's the name of Joey's Penguin? Hugsy. Hugsy, Hugsy, two points. Okay, two points to you. It's Hugsy. Well done. Okay. Okay, James, your question. Which cartoon character was on Phoebe's thermos that Ursula threw under a bus? Dad? <laughs> cartoon character. It was Judy Jetson. Okay, that was the cartoon character. Slightly tough question, bad luck. Okay, we're going on to Anne. What's the name of Janice's first husband? Janice's first husband. Uh, uh, um, I think I know. Um, can't remember. Out. <laughs> okay, bad luck. It's Gary Littman. Gary Littman, okay, was the oh. name of the first husband. Okay. Okay, here comes a pretty easy question. It's now directed to Aloma. <clears throat> what song is Phoebe best known for? Smelly Cat. Smelly Cat. Oh, would you like to try and sing that? 
It's all good saying it would be good. All good saying. Okay, <laughs> we'll give you all a chance. Saloma and Krizan, would you like to try singing it? <laughs> smelly cat, smelly cat, what are they feeding you? Smelly cat, smelly cat, it's not your fault. <laughs> Excellent, excellent, excellent. I wish I could give you two extra points, but I'm sorry, I can't give you. Okay, you've got your two points for the correct answer. Okay, a very simple question coming to Gracial and team. <clears throat> what does Joey never share? His food. Joey never food. shares his food. Shares his food. Absolutely correct. Two points to you. Absolutely correct. Okay, and the last question in the second round of the section coming into Hallie and team. What is Chandler's middle name? Chandler Muriel Bing. Absolutely correct. Chandler Muriel Bing. You've got two points. Okay. Done on the second round. We are pretty close on the second round. We now move in the first section, and the question goes to Janice and team. Which friend's character plays Dr. Drake Ramore on the show Days of Our Lives? Joey. Full name? Joey, Joey Tribbiani. Okay, Joey Tribbiani. I'll give you two points for that. Joey Tribbiani. Well done. James, your question. Who was Chandler's TV magazine always addressed to? TV magazine? Yes. It was in the one of those questions that Ross asked when he had a quiz with all of them. Uh. Time's up. It was addressed to Shanann Le Bong. Okay, Shanann Le Bong. It was always addressed to Shanann Le Bong. Okay. This oh. question goes on to Anne and team. What is Janice most likely to say? This became a famous sentence of hers all through the sitcom. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> Absolutely yeah. correct. Two points. Two points to you guys. Well done. Well done. Okay. This question goes on to Aloma and team. <clears throat> What's the name of the grumpy person who works at the coffee shop? Gunter. Gunter. Absolutely right. Gunter is his name. We have to say a little prayer for Gunter because we know he's in the fourth stage of cancer at the moment. Okay. And that's the sad news we received. But we keep praying for Gunter who did a remarkable job. Okay. Next question coming to Gracial and team. Who sang... The Friends theme song. Rebunt. Rebunt. I remember what the name is, but I don't know exactly what the name is. I, I, I will, okay, I, I'll give you two points, okay, for a mispronunciation, but I'll give you two points. It's the Rembrandts, yeah. okay? It's the Rembrandts. Rembrandt. Okay, that's the yeah. correct person. But I'll give you two points for that, okay? Good one. I'll give you two points for that. Okay. Hallie, here's your question. What kind of uniform does Joey wear to Monica and Chandler's wedding? It's a war, it's a war outfit. Like he was dressed like as a, a... As a soldier? Not soldier. Okay. Not soldier. Okay. okay, say it. You got it. He dressed soldier, as a soldier. soldier. Okay, war outfit. He was dressed as a soldier. I'll give you two points for that. Well done. Okay, so this is the third round in this first section. We now move on to the fourth round in this particular section. Question to Janice and team. What are Ross and Monica's parents called? Names. Jack and Judy Geller. Jack and Judy, absolutely correct. You've got two points. Well done. You've got two points there. Okay. Next question coming to James's team. What is the name of Rachel's Sphinx cat? Nemo. No, Nemo? No, 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 no. Rachel's cat. Yeah, Rachel's Sphinx cat. Uh, the... Somebody's dog is barking in the background. But anyway, the, the answer is Mrs. Whiskerson. Okay, Mrs. Whiskerson, that was the name of Rachel's Sphinx cat. Okay, next question coming in to Anne. When Ross and Rachel were on a break, Ross slept with Chloe. 
where does she work um in the laundry uh, somewhere ah, i was it i think it was in the laundry it ah. wasn't in the laundry it wasn't in the laundry does anyone know the answer yes no points but I know. give us yes give us the answer janice there was place very good it was there there was there yeah it was there that's what i meant okay. when i said laundry <laughs> <laughs> laundry oh gosh okay bad luck okay bad luck okay uh next question coming to aloma's team chandler's mom had an interesting career and an even more interesting love life what's her name nora bing nora Tyler Bing. Okay, two points. I will give you two points for that. Okay. Next question coming into Gracial Steam. Monica and Chandler met on Thanksgiving in 1987. She pursued her career as a chef because Chandler complimented her on which dish? Mac and, Mac and cheese. cheese. Mac and cheese. Okay, macaroni and cheese. Absolutely right. You get two points for that. Well done. Okay. And the last question in this third round of this particular section. Simple question to Hallie and team. How many seasons did the series have? 10. 10 seasons, absolutely correct. You've got two points for that. Well done everyone, okay? We're moving into the fourth round of this particular section. There'll be the fourth, fifth and sixth before we move into section 2, okay? We'll give you the scores at the end of the seconds of at the end of this particular round. Okay, question to Janice. Rachel becomes buyer assistant at which department store in season 3? Bloomingdale's. Absolutely correct. Two points to you. It was Bloomingdale's. Okay. Jane, a question. Monica dated one of her parents' friends. What was his name? Richard. Very good. His name was Richard. You got two points for that. Well done. Okay. Our next question coming into Anne and your team. What is Richard's job? It's a um What was Richard's job? He was a businessman. Random guess. <laughs> specifically, specifically, anyone? Specifically, no points. Yes, yes any? he was an eye specialist. Ophthalmologist. Okay, he was an ophthalmologist. That was his profession. Right. Okay, bad luck. Okay, Aloma, your question. In which city did Ross and Rachel get married at the end of season five? Las Vegas. Las, Las Vegas. Vegas. Okay, absolutely correct. You've got two points for that. Okay, Rachel, your question coming up. In season seven, Rachel meets an attractive new assistant at Polo Ralph, Ralph Lauren. They are forced to keep their subsequent relationship secret from their boss. What was his name? Tag Jones. Tag Jones. Absolutely correct. Bang on. Two points to you. Well done. Okay. And Hallie, here's your question in this fourth round of this particular section. It was revealed at her memorial service that Estelle only had one other client, and he ate paper. What was that client's name? Oh my God. We don't know. Okay. That was Al. Zebuker okay that was Al Zebuker slightly tough sorry about that okay Al Zebuker okay black okay your next question coming in okay we are moving into the fifth round of this particular section our question goes to Janice and team what is the name of the neighbor who lives below Monica and Rachel often heard banging his broomstick on the ceiling Janice and Dolly. No guess. No guess. Okay. Anyone has the answer? Mr. Heckels. Mr. Heckels. That was the answer. Mr. Heckels. Okay. Mr. Heckels made an appearance even on Friends Reunion. For those of you who watched that. Okay. Well, our next question. This comes into James Steam. What is the name of the student Ross dates in season six, where Ross is initially concerned for his career until he catches her embarrassed father Paul in front of the mirror? 
Okay, the correct answer is Elizabeth. Elizabeth was the correct answer. Okay, our next question coming into Anne and team. What is the name of Phoebe's really bold friend who she wants to set up with Ross in season three's The One with the Ultimate Fighting Champion? I really don't know. No idea. Okay. Bad luck. The answer is Bonnie. Okay. Bonnie was the correct answer. That was the bold friend. Okay. Okay. Coming into Aloma, your question. Which phrase does Ross claim to have invented in the one with the mugging? Got rice. Sorry? Got rice. Oh, just missed it. It's actually got milk. Okay, got milk is the phrase, not got rice. Bad luck. Okay, bad luck. Okay, Rachel, your question coming in. What is the name of the fellow paleontologist Ross dates in season 10? Charlie. Charlie, Charlie absolutely correct. You've got two points there. And Hallie, this is your question coming in. In which city do Monica and Chandler Bing spend a night together in season four? In Vermont City. Vermont City. What was the question? In which city do Monica and Chandler Bing spend a night together in season four? I don't know. It was in London. Okay, that was the great answer in London. Okay. Bad luck. Okay, we are end of five rounds in this particular section. Okay, six rounds. We're going to give you scores at the moment. Okay, so that we know who's where as far as round one is concerned. And then we will get ready to move into round two. Okay, we're just calculating scores. Give us one second and we will back with, be back with you with our scores. I hope all of you enjoying yourselves. You're having fun on this quiz show. I hope you're, doing, you're having fun. Okay, great, great. Okay, so our yeah. scores so far, our scores so far, we are neck to neck. Janice and Darlene have got 10. Uh, Chrisanna and Aloma have got 10. Rachel and Groel have also got 10. We've got Kelly and Joanne with six. And we've got James and Dalreen and Anne and Marcelo with four, okay? You've still got a long way to go, so you can still buck up and you can still catch up, okay? Well done so far. We are moving into the second section of this quiz. There's only one round of this, okay? And it's entitled Working Friends, okay? This question goes to Janice and team. You need to tell me, you need to tell me any two jobs, any two jobs that Joey had in the sitcom. Worked at Central Park as a waiter. Very good, one. one. Days of our Days of our life, life after. After. Mac and as an actor. actor. Okay. As an actor in Days of Our Life. Okay. So we'll give you two points. Well done. Okay. The same question goes to James and team. Two of the jobs that Ross had. He was a teacher and he uh, worked as a paleontologist. Very good. He was a professor and a paleontologist. I'll give you two points for that. Okay. And your question. Two jobs, Anne and Marcelo. Two jobs that Rachel had in the sitcom. Rachel, one as a waitress. What, waitress at Central Park, and another okay. one. Uh, she was a uh, fashion designer at uh, Bloomingdale's. Not fashion uh, designer, coffee make coffee maker. I think she used to make coffee for uh... <laughs> for her boss. Okay, yes. so I'll give you two points. She was a waitress at Central Park. And she was also a buyer and personal shopper at Bloomingdale's. Okay, that was the actual profession. But we'll give you the two points for that because you knew that. Okay. The same question goes out to Aloma and team. Any two jobs that Monica had? A waiter at um, Moondance and Alessandro's. Head chef at Alessandro's. Very good. Okay, very good. Waitress at Moondance Diner. And she was the head chef at Alessandro's. Okay. Gracial and team. Two jobs that Chandler had. He was um, a data processor and um, 
advertisement very good very good very good it's tough it was tough because uh, not not everyone not everyone knew what was chandler's job really okay but he actually had was a data processing and statistic statistical reconfiguration for a multinational corporation and the second job was a junior advertising copywriter well done and of course hally and team what were the two jobs any two jobs that phoebe had You should get this. She was a masseuse. Very good. And masseuse. she used to sing at Center Park. Very good. She was a masseuse oh, she and she was a muse. She was a. One second. She was an extra on uh, Joey's show. Days of Our Life. That was just a brief period. But time. the two main jobs was a masseuse and yeah. she was a musical artist. Okay. So we give you two points for that. Well done. Well done. Okay. Absolutely well done. that was section 2 okay we are now moving into section 3 this is to see how many times you fast forwarded the opening credits on netflix and never paid attention to the opening credits because this round is on the opening credits together with that song okay the first question goes into janice and team i want to know the sequence of the color dots in between the letters of the word f r i e n d s the sequence the correct sequence of the color dots father you got it on your uh, video <laughs> let's see whether she gets it that's okay i'll cover yeah, it for a moment yeah i have it on t-shirt as well okay give me the yeah, color doesn't matter the sequence red Don't look yellow your t-shirts red yellow blue red yellow blue that's wrong it's red blue yellow red yellow and blue okay that is the correct sequence the second one was blue okay i don't know where i uh, uh, darlene i don't know where you picked up your t-shirt from okay <laughs> that one wrong dot in it okay bad luck bad luck on that okay question to james and team is the fountain on or off when the song begins uh it's off it's off and then almost immediately it comes on okay you're right it's off when the song begins two points to both of you okay and and team who walks in first and sits on the couch monica ah oh, it was rachel it was rachel who makes the first entry and goes and sits plump onto the couch bad luck bad luck to you okay aloma your question who walks in fourth and sits on the arm of the couch monica no it was joy joy walks in fourth and he sits on the arm of the couch bad luck okay our next question to gracial and team when ross comes on screen what does he do the first time he, he puts his head on monica's lap okay so he lies down actually the correct answer is he lies down across all three girls and of course his head goes on monica's lap yeah. okay but i'll give you two points for that i'll give you two points for that okay and halli and your team what's the top most color of the lamp light next to the couch the top most color i don't want the entire color because it had different colors but the top most color of the lamp light next to the couch yellow <laughs> <laughs> I guess it was a guess but it's a wrong guess the correct color was green okay it's green okay the second round in this particular section and then we wind up the section okay to Janice and team what's the color of the umbrella that Chandler opens while sitting on the couch they all blue, open umbrellas it? it is blue it is blue okay you're right on it is blue two points to your team James and team your question What's the color combination? Color combination of the outfits all six are wearing in the opening credits. Black and white. Black and white. Two points to both of you. Two points. Well done. Okay, and slightly tough. Okay, if you didn't pay uh, careful attention to the credits, if you didn't pay careful attention, what snack? What snack is on the fountain wall when Rachel is ducks? When Rachel is. feeding the ducks uh, yeah. bread it's a bread i'll give you two points okay it's a bread it was two slices as good as a sandwich but it was bread that she was feeding the ducks two points to you okay 
This goes to Aloma and team. When Phoebe appears in the credits, she's turning around, swinging something in her hand. What is that? Umbrella. No, bad luck. It was a black scarf. Okay, she was turning around and she had a black scarf in her hand. Okay, uh, Gracial and team, your question. What does Joey have in his hand while sitting next to the fountain? Umbrella? <laughs> no idea. <laughs> he has in his hand a glass of cocktail or mocktail, one of the two. Okay, he's sitting on a kind of an armchair and he has a glass of cocktail or mocktail in his hand. That's what he's got. And our last question in this particular round to Hallie and team. Who puts off the light at the end of the credits? Are you putting on <laughs> Monica? <laughs> Monica puts it off at the end of the credits. Well done. <laughs> Extremely well done. Okay, congratulations. Congratulations to all of you that have done well so far on this round. Okay, so we've got Janice and Darlene at 14, James and Dalreen at 10, uh, and Marcelo at 8, Prisanna and Aloma at 12, Rachel and Groel at 14, and Hallie and Joanne at 10. Okay, so that's our scoreline at the end of that particular round, section three. We now move on to section four, okay, which is called Celebrity Friends, okay? That's the section, Celebrity Friends. There were a number of celebrities that came onto the shore right through the 10 seasons, okay? So we're gonna play you a PowerPoint which, which has got the picture, the photograph of the celebrity, okay? You've gotta identify and tell me What's the name of the celebrity? Okay, that's the important thing. Okay, the actor or the actress's name, not on the show, but what is the name of the celebrity? Okay, so here we go. We are starting with Janice. Okay, Janice, get ready for the first one that's coming up on our screen. Okay. Janice and team, can you get us the celebrities there? Father, no idea. No idea. Okay, we'll give you this. We'll give you the correct answers. The two men that we see in our screen, George Clooney and Noah Weil. Okay, in between shifts on ER, both of them appeared on Friends for some episodes, and they served as dates for Rachel Green and Monica Geller. Naturally, okay, that was in season one. So that was George Clooney and Noah Weil. Okay, James and team, this is your celebrity coming up on the screen. I'm talking about the lady. Father, don't know. Don't know, Father. Oh, that's such an easy one. That's such an easy one. Okay, so that is... Don't tell me. Julia Roberts. Okay, that was Julia Roberts, the same actress who acted in Pretty Woman. Okay, she was one of Hollywood's rising stars and she guest starred as Susie, a childhood friend of Chandler Bing who came on to that particular show. So that was Julia Roberts. Okay, here's to Anne and Marcelo. No clue, father. No. no clue. Okay, bad luck. We're struggling on this round. We're really struggling on this round. Nobody seems to have got any of their celebrities. That's Brooke Shields, a very, very famous actress. Okay, the actress and model appeared on one uh, after the Super Bowl. Okay, she was a stock on the show Days of Our Lives. Had a hard time desperating Joey Tribbiani from the character Drake Ramore. Okay, so that was Brooke Shields. Okay, our next one goes out to Aloma and team. <clears throat> The man on the other side of the door. No idea. No idea. Okay, this seems to be a tough round. I was wondering whether you should have got it a little more easier. But the person there is Adam Goldberg. Okay, Adam Goldberg. He was the psycho who, who kind of made life miserable for Chandler in his room after Joey moved out. Okay, he was like a psycho and was shouting and yelling all over the place, okay? He's appeared in very famous films like Saving Private Ryan, A Beautiful Mind, etc. okay? So this was Adam Goldberg. Okay, Gracial and team, <clears throat> yours your celebrity. Van Dyke. Van Dyke. Van Damme. Van Damme. Van Damme or Van Dyke? Van Damme. Van Damme. Van Damme. Okay, let's see whether you got it right. <clears throat> that was Jean-Claude okay, Van Damme, Jean -Claude. okay, appearing as himself in season two. 
Okay, and uh, this was he with I moved Monica. Okay, so that was two points to you. The only one who scored so far in this round. Okay, you know the only ones who scored so far. Hallie, here's your celebrity coming on screen. <coughs> No, we don't know. Come on, this is such an easy one. <laughs> he was in <clears throat> two men, okay, <laughs> two and a half men. He was in two and a half. I'll give you the points, but uh, that's the clue I can give you, but I can't give you points. No idea still. He was in two and a half men. He used to always have no. his glass of whiskey with him. Okay, that is the <laughs> famous Charlie Sheen. Okay, the famous Charlie Sheen <clears throat> who contracts the chicken pox when an old flame Ryan is about to join the doctor the navy okay so that was uh, the first round in this particular section just one of your teams one of our teams scoring two points the rest struggled but we've got one more round in this particular section on celebrities here comes the one for janice and t the man in black no, no no clue, no clue. Famous actor. He's a famous actor. Okay. Absolutely famous actor. Ben Stiller. Okay. Ben Stiller, he appeared during the same season. Okay. And uh, remember, he was shouting in the theater. Okay. When uh, Rachel and, uh, and uh, Ross and all of them, he was shouting at an old couple in the theater. Okay. So that is Ben Stiller. Okay. Over to James and team. This is your celebrity. The two men sitting there, right there on the sofa. Don't know, man. You should have got this. You should have got this. I'm not giving you points. The man next to Phoebe is the one who acted in Mrs. Doubtfire. That was Robin Williams. Okay, so that's Billy Crystal and Robin Williams that were sitting on the couch. Very interesting. Okay, they happened to be on the same set of friends on the when they were uh, on the film, The Ultimate Fighting Champion. Okay, and they only decided to stop by for a cup of coffee in Central Park. They came and just walked into the set. Okay, while the shooting was going on, they had no role to play. Walked into the set, sat down. The shooting continued and they had a very informal conversation among all of themselves, which was telecast. Okay, so those were our two actors there. Okay, next question coming up to Anne and team. Okay. No clue. Famous no actor. Famous actor. The clue that I'm giving you is Joey used his bathroom, okay, on the set. Okay. Bad luck. Okay, this was the guy okay. who played... Very bad name, father. Charleston Heston, he acted in Ben-Hur, okay? He act, acted in Ben-Hur as the chariot writer in, in Ben-Hur, okay? Charleston Heston, okay? Acted as himself. He was on the set and Joey was trying out for that particular show. Okay, Aloma, your question coming up. This is your celebrity. Bruce Easiest Willis. One. Easiest one. Okay, so that was indeed Bruce Willis. Okay, you'll get two points for that. Uh, he joined the show for a few episodes as Rachel's boyfriend, Paul, who also happens to be the father of Ross's 20-year-old girlfriend. Okay, Bruce Willis, two points to you. Gracial, this is your celebrity coming up on screen. Gracial, I... Brad Pitt. Brad Pitt. Okay, Brad that's Pitt. Brad Pitt. Brad okay, you... No one should have not got that. That was Brad Pitt. Okay, we'll give you some information about Brad Pitt at this point of time. Jennifer Aniston acted alongside her husband for the first time when he appeared on the Thanksgiving episode of Friends, okay? And the actor played a former over, overweight class of Monica, uh, Rachel, and Ross, okay? The founder of the I Hate Rachel Club in that particular sitcom. That was Brad Pitt. Points to you. Hallie and team, here's your celebrity. Oh my God! I know he is. Uh, he's he's from that Jurassic Park movie, but I don't know like what's his name. I don't know the answer. Okay, we'll give you the answer. This is the famous Danny DeVito. Okay, oh. no friends, fan will oh, ever forget one of the finest episodes called the one where the stripper no, the cries. Stripper cries. Okay, he guest starred as an inadequate stripper for Phoebe's bridal show. And uh, let's say it's, it was indeed very memorable. Okay, that was Danny DeVito. And at the end of that round, our scores are now 14 to Janice and, Dal and Dalreen. Uh, 
uh, Darlene, sorry, James and Dalrin, you've got 10. Anne and Marcelo, 8. Grisana and Aloma, 14. Gracial and Gruel, you've gone on to 18. Okay. And Hallie and Joanne, you're on 10. Okay. So you still got an opportunity to fight. Don't give up. Okay. Don't give up. Have fun. And we move on to the next round. Round section five. This is called I on Friends. I, E by E. I on Friends. What we're going to do is we are going to play you a short video clip for about three minutes and 20 odd seconds. You need to very carefully observe everything that you can see. For example, just now I can see, uh, I can see uh, Hallie's screen over there. I know that there's a split AC behind her on. There's a wall cabinet on the top. I can see a number one hanging somewhere behind. So I'm asking you to observe everything you see in this video clip, even pay attention to the dialogues that are there. And then I'm going to be asking you questions based on this video clip. Okay, so here goes. Sit back and enjoy this particular video clip. Damn, Rolos. <laughs> hey, you're back. Hey. How was your conference? Yeah, it was terrible. I fought with my colleagues you know, the entire time. Are you kidding with this? <laughs> uh, so your weekend was a total bust? Uh, no, I got to see Donald Trump waiting for an elevator. Hi. Hey, you're back too. Yeah. Um, Jenner, can I talk to you outside for just a second? Hey, how was your chef thing? Uh, it was awful. Guess some people just don't appreciate really good food. Well, maybe it was the kind of food that tasted good at first, but then made everybody vomit and have diarrhea. <laughs> Tandler? Money good? Hey. Hey, Mr. Bing. That uh, hotel you stayed at called. Said someone left an eyelash curler in your room. Yes, that was mine. Because I figured you hooked up with some girl and she left it there. Yes, that would have made more sense. You know, I, I don't even feel like I know you anymore, man. All right? Uh, look, I'm just going to ask you this one time, all right? And whatever you say, I'll believe you. Were you, or were you not, on a gay cruise. Hey. 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 Oh, hey, Monica. I heard you saw Donald Trump at your convention. Yeah, so I'm waiting for an elevator. <laughs> hey, Rach, can I borrow your eyelash curler? I think I lost mine. Yeah, it's in the bathroom. <laughs> oh, can I talk to you for a second? Hey. Yes. Yes. You? And, and you? Yes, but you cannot tell anyone. No one knows. How? When? It happened in London. In London? Yeah, yeah, okay. The reason we didn't tell anyone was because we didn't want to make a big deal out of it. But it is a big deal. I have to tell someone. No, 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 no. I can't. Please, please, we just don't want to deal with telling everyone, okay? Please, just promise you won't tell. All right. Man, this is unbelievable. I mean, it's great, but... I know it's great. <laughs> oh, I don't want to see that. We're so stupid. Do you know what's going on in there? They're trying to take Joey. <laughs> Okay, okay. I hope you paid attention to that clip. You observed everything carefully. Okay, and here goes our questions on uh, I on Friends. Okay, this question is directed to Janice and team. What's on the yellow sofa behind Chandler in his flat? The dog's statue. On the sofa. On the sofa was a baseball bat. Okay. On the sofa was a baseball bat. Okay. Question to James and team. 
What's on the gas stove by the side of Joey? Fridge? On the gas, on the gas stove. On the gas okay. stove. <laughs> there was a golden tea kettle. There was a golden tea kettle on the gas stove. Okay. Here's a question to Anne and team. On the dartboard behind Joey, what's the bottom most number? Nine. Oh, unfortunate, unfortunate. It was three. The number three was right at the bottom of the dartboard. Okay. Uh, Aloma and team, here's your question. As Monica enters Chandler's flat, What's on the board on the right of her read? There is a board on the right of her. What does it read? Charlie says five to one or something. I'll give you two points. I'll give you two points. It was five card. Charlie pays five to one. Okay. I'll give you two points because you got most of it correct. Well done. Okay. Aloma, uh, this Gracial, this is your question. What was Chandler's sickness complain about Monica's food? Diarrhea and vomiting. vomiting Very good. And vomiting and diarrhea. Two points to you. Vomiting and diarrhea. Okay. And Hallie, here's your question. What action did Monica use to call Chandler outside for a minute? Never know. It was the left thumb over the shoulder, okay? This is how she called oh, Chandler yeah. out of the flat, okay? That was the action. Okay, back to Janice and team. What did Joey tell Chandler that the hotel call to save was left behind in the room? An eyelash curler. Eyelash curler. Two points to you. Question to James and team. Chandler puts a bag down on the counter when he enters his flat. What's the brand name on that bag? Je Jefferson Market. Jefferson Market. Two points to you. Well done. Okay. Question to Anna and team. Joey wanted to know what kind of a holiday the Chandler go on. A gay, gay cruise. On a gay cruise. On a gay. <laughs> okay, two points to you. We're doing better in round two. We're doing better in round two. Okay, question to Aloma. How many water bottles and bottle caps are visible in front of Chandler in Monica's flat? Uh, three bottles and two caps. Just missed it. It was four bottles and three caps. Okay. Four bottles and three caps. You just missed it. Okay. Next question to Gracial and team. What is the color of the purse that opens? Um, orange. It was purple. It was purple. Oh. That was the color really? of the purse. Okay. Bad luck. Bad luck. Okay. Hallie, here's your question. What color earrings is Phoebe wearing when she sits beside Rachel? I'm just going to say green. Okay, it's green. Okay, she was wearing a green top, so naturally it was green earrings. Good guess. Two points to you. Okay, next question to Janice. Next question to Janice and team. Which hand does Chandler use to cover Joey's mouth on the bed? Left hand. He used the right hand. He used his right hand to cover his mouth, not the left hand. Bad luck. Okay, question to James and team. Joey points to the door with his mouth closed using which hand? Right. That's the left hand. He points with his left hand. Okay, bad luck. Okay, question to Anne and team. In Monica's bedroom, there is a wall frame with the words Ramos dash. Pinto. Ramos Pinto. Two points to you. Well done. Well done. Okay. Good observation because that was not too clear, but a good observation from you. Okay. Question to Aloma and team. Above Monica's bed, there is a frame that has three pictures in it. One, two, three. What's the caption on the third picture? You are welcome. 
Absolutely correct. You are welcome. Two points to you. Well done in that round. Okay. A question to Gracial and team. Chandler mentioned that he fought with whom at the conference? His colleagues. His colleagues. His colleagues. Two points to you. Well done. And the last question in this second round, in this second to team. Chandler and Joey's apartment bathroom door is open. What's visible? The shower curtain? No. It was the bathtub and the toilet commode. Okay. These were the only two vis things visible from there. Okay. And one more round in this particular section on Ion Friends. Our question to Janice and team. Whom did Chandler waiting for an elevator? Donald Trump. Donald Trump. Two points to you. Very good. Question to James and team. What was the color of the sweatshirt that Monica was wearing when she entered Chandler's flat? White and blue. It was purple. It was purple. Okay, it was a very light purple color. Okay, question to Anne and team. While sitting in Monica's flat, right behind Chandler, there is a video player. What's on top of it? There's a book. Book. There were two video cassettes. Okay, there were two video cassettes on top of the video player. Bad luck. Okay, question to Aloma and team. What three transport vehicle stickers are visible on the fridge that Phoebe opens? Car, bus, and a bike. Uh, you need to get all three if I have to give you two points. I'm sorry about that. That's, that's the case. Okay, it was a, bar, a bus, a car, and an aeroplane. Okay, there was an aeroplane on the fridge. Bad luck. You almost got it there. Okay, Gracial and team, what color blouse is Rachel wearing as she sits on the couch? White. 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 Two points to you. And the last question to Hallie in this round. What's the print of Monica's bed sheet and pillow covers? It was floral. floral. It was floral. I, it I, was, I was floral. Okay. I was, uh, I was going to say, but your time is I up. Know, I'm sorry. I'm so off. sorry. I can't give you that point. Okay. And here's what our scores are at the moment. At the end of that round, we've got one last section coming up. And here's our scores. Janice and Darlene, 18 points. James and Dalreen, 12. Anne and Marcelo, 12. Prisanna and Aloma, 18. Rachel and Groel, 24. And Hallie and Joanne, you've got 12 points. Okay, that's our score line. And we are now in the last section of this quiz. And it is called Fun Facts. Okay, that is the section of this quiz. It is called Fun Facts. And our first question goes into Janice and team. It wasn't always called Friends. The show's working titles were Insomnia Cafe, Friends Like Us, and Six of One before everyone settled on Friends. Okay, that's a fun fact. Okay, we move on to James and team. The credits weren't shot in New York. Tell me where they were shot. Oh, yeah. The credits. Hey. It was shot in Warner Brothers Studios in California. Okay, that was shot in California because you don't see a fountain on the East Coast, really. Okay, question to Anne and team. Before the pilot aired, the pilot is the first one, okay, the test, the real test serial. Before the pilot aired, the cast went to. Cast went to. The entire cast was taken uh, to this place. You know? Okay, just a guess, bowling. No, they were taken to Las Vegas, okay? Why? Because they dined at Spargo inside Caesar's Palace to enjoy their last shot at anonymity. The cast would return some six years later to shoot 
Mr. Rachel's wedding to Mrs. Ross and Joey's movie fail, among other things. Okay, this is the reason why they were taken to Las Vegas. Okay, Aloma and team. Friends were supposed to have just four friends. Who the two were not supposed to be included. Rachel and Phoebe. No, it's actually Phoebe and Chandler. Okay, Phoebe and Chandler were originally written as supporting roles. Can you ever imagine that? Okay, here comes a question to Gracial and team. Lisa Kudrow hated the guitar at first. What did she suggest that she play? Drums. Drums. It's actually the bongos. Okay, it's actually the bongos, oh. not the drums. Okay. It's the bongos. Bad luck on that one. And our question to Hallie and team in this round. Okay, the first round in this section. What's the age difference between Monica and Ross? He's one year elder to her. Okay, so actually, Courtney Cox is two years older than David Schwimmer. Yeah. Despite, despite playing his little he's sister. Right okay, so he is, uh, she is two yeah. years older. Okay, Ross was two years younger. Yeah. Two years yeah. younger. Yeah. Okay. Okay, but yet he but played the younger you sister. Yeah. So Bad luck. Bad luck on that one. Okay. Okay. Our question no, to Janice. Ross, did you ask Courtney? Like, I didn't. Monica and Ross. Who played Monica? Okay. Okay. Question coming in to Janice and team. The orange sofa in Central Perk. Where did they get it from? Pottery <laughs> it was found in the basement of Warner Brothers Studios. Okay, that's where they got it from in the basement of Warner Brothers Studios. A question to James and team Monica's apartment number changed from five to what in season one? Twenty. Very good. In season one, it was five. In season 10, it was 20. And the change was made after the writers realized an apartment with the number five did not denote a unit on the higher floor in New York City. Okay, well done. Okay, Anne and team, here's your question. The yeah. big white dog, the big white dog that you find in Chandler and uh, 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 Joey's flat, it actually belonged to whom? It actually belonged to Rachel. Very good. It actually belonged, actually belonged to Jennifer Aniston. Okay. Pat, the dog was given to Aniston by a friend for good luck on the first day of shooting friends. Okay. Well done. Okay. Next question coming into Aloma and team. Cole Sprouse, who acts as Ben, had a huge crush on who? Jennifer Aniston. Very good. He had a huge crush on Jennifer Aniston. And I caught him. I had a really, really hard time working with Aniston because I was so in love with her. He told the New York Post in 2017. I was infatuated. I was speechless. I'd get all bubbly and forget my lines and completely blank. It was so difficult. Okay, well done on that. Okay, two points to you. Okay, our next question coming in to Gracial and team. This is the only friend to not receive an Emmy nod for her work on the show. David Schwimmer, Ross. No, it was actually okay. Monica was the only one not to have received oh. an, an Emmy nod, okay, for her work on the show. Ali and team, for three consecutive seasons, season three, four, and five, Ross mentions that he's this age. He's 29. 29, absolutely right, Ali. Two points to you and your team. Well done on that. And the last round in this particular section, for those of you who can still buck up on your scores, our questions to Janice and team. Gunter's first line came after 33 episodes when he said... Okay. Okay, or said, yes. 
He said, yeah, Y-E-A-H. Okay, I'm sorry, I can't give you that. Okay, that was his first word that come, came after 33 episodes. Okay, James and team, here's your question. When the series wrapped, each cast member took home a piece of what? It was a piece of the fake sidewalk outside Central Perk. Okay, each of them took a piece of that and went home when they finished up with the cereal. Okay, uh, coming up, our question to Anne and team. By the end of the show's run, each friend was earning how much per episode? Mm. One point five million. Actually, it was one million. Okay, it was one million. Okay, each of them was earning a million dollars by the end of that particular sitcom. Our next question coming into Aloma and team. Jennifer Ann's debut on Instagram featured a selfie of. No, it was a selfie of the entire Friends cast, okay? A selfie of the entire Friends cast. Bad luck. Our question to Rachel and team. Rachel gave birth in the show at the same time Cockney Cox had a... She had her kid. Um, Coco. 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 She had a miscarriage at that time, okay? She oh, didn't have a yeah, kid. Yeah. She had a miscarriage at that time. Bad luck. And our last question on Friends Revisited coming into Hallie and team. Before there was a benefer, okay, Brad Pitt dated Christina Applegate. Was she? She guest starred as Rachel's sister, Amy. Okay, she guest starred as Rachel's sister, Amy. So that's the end of our six rounds that we've had, our six sections, okay, on Friends Revisited. I do hope we have a winner and we don't have tight scores. We are just tabulating the final scores for you. And our winning team is Gracial and Groel with 24 points. Let's give them a round of applause, okay? 24 points to Gracian and Joel. Well done, congratulations to both of you. Our second place is Krizana and Aloma with 20 points. Then we have Janice and uh, Darlene with 18 points. And we've got the remaining three teams, James and Dalreen, Ann and Marcelo, Hallie and Joanne tied at 14 points, okay? So that's our final scoreline for you. And we have now come to the end of Friends Revisited. It was a joy for Rohan, Andrea, and myself to bring you this edition of our trivia quiz on Friends. Hope each of you enjoyed being with us this afternoon. And uh, to all of you, uh, congratulations. Thanks for taking part. And I'm sure each of you have had a wonderful time. To all of you, please be blessed. And most importantly, stay safe. Okay. Thank you. And God bless.